The music scene here in the Valley has had its share of success stories over the years. It's called This Could Take All Night. And the guys here at Chaton Studios, they want to take that experience of making musical magic, the artists, the technicians, the producers, all working hand in hand, live to the web. The RecordingArtist.com now features weekly streams from inside of this Phoenix recording studio. It's really exciting for a local band to be here and be a part of this show that really is kind of interesting. It's a bit like reality TV. They can't turn it off because there's always the next thing and the next overdub and the next argument. The RecordingArtist.com gets you a membership to see all this. It's a professional recording studio and just like reality TV, you get to peer into the window of this world and see just what it takes to lay down the tracks and the vocals and to make a hit record. Just five bucks and change per month lets you experience all of this, the creative process, and you get to keep the bands honest. And a lot of times when a band goes in the studio, they quit performing. If soon as they make a mistake they stop oh let's just start over but now that they know they're being watched instead of stopping and being so critical they force themselves to perform a little more it's ever-changing and a lot of times a lot of improvising goes on and some of the best ideas are totally spontaneous and that spontaneity is what Otto hopes will get more members to sign up and log on and in turn help more local bands to produce quality music for the masses It's a great game, it's a fun game, it's a physical game. Three, one, two, three. Football season started early today with Cardinals camp for young aspiring players. More than 500 going strong in Glendale to learn the ins and outs of the game from those who know it best. Come out, you want to get out, that linebacker. A game that has come under fire recently with many questioning the lasting injuries that can come from playing football. Down. Set it. It's a collision sport and the injuries can occur but doesn't mean they have to occur. It's not just the technique, what happens on the field that these guys want to learn. The professionals are teaching them about preparation to help prevent injury. It's football season all year round, isn't it? Dave Heckthorn is a dad who loves football and so do his sons. And the potential for serious injuries from concussions especially is something that they think about but only to be aware of the proper safety measures. They'd never think about quitting the game altogether. Our medical staff and our training staff's like on top of it, which is a good thing. We gotta take class and learn about concussions, the symptoms and all that. So it helps, it helps to know if you have one. Every day we, we have run the risk of being hurt doing something. Um, you gotta live your life and, and do do what you feel is you need to do. The culture has changed from generations past when playing through the pain was standard, even expected. Now coaches watch players closely to make sure that they don't get concussions, and if they do, they don't play until they're well again. If you play football with the right technique and the right form, you know, injuries and stuff won't happen. You know, we're trying to teach good sportsmanship so you're not getting those concussions. It's all those late hits and stuff. What needs to be done more so is the education of every Pop Warner, every high school, every college, every professional coach to understand uh, the how serious traumatic brain injuries are. In Glendale, I'm Dan Spindle, Fox 10 News. No, I don't think I'm a bad parker because I'm a woman. Diane Catlin parked her Acura SUV just fine before heading into Biltmore Fashion Park today. Even her husband, Chuck, approves. It's right, perfect right in the middle of the slot. But when it comes to parallel parking, Diane would prefer to get some practice. Yeah, I'm not good at it. But take a look at these drivers attempting to parallel park in downtown Phoenix. The driver of this Prius took at least six moves to make it into the spot. The driver, Paul Hildebrandt, said next time he's putting his wife behind the wheel. She drives better than I do. Rose Willis is an instructor at Driving MBA in Scottsdale. She says women are better drivers overall. They think it through and they're, they have a lot more rhythm than guys do. They want to get it done quick. Uh, they want to do it uh, in a few motions like they're trying to impress. They, they don't think it through. There's only one way to find out if men or women are better at parking. We're going to test it out. This is my photographer, Bob. We're both going to try to parallel park this car and see who gets it right. Of course, it's me. Ladies first. I guarantee Bob could not do that in these shoes. Let's see if he can do it at all. Okay, let's go to dinner.
Count me in because it looks like dinner is on Bob. When it came to Parallel Park and Kristen, I'm afraid you're the winner. What? Two, <laughs> two moves and she's in.